Welcome aboard the AM Show and right after that Living Standard Series, how about we settle for the news now. In our first story, Vice President Dr. Mohamedou Baumia is asking critics of government to invest in reading and also seek explanations from government before it criticizes it. According to him, many of government's political opponents cast doubts on the viability of the Sino-Hydro projects when government initiated the move. Now, addressing the chiefs and people of Cape Coast at the commissioning of the Cape Coast Inner City Roads, Dr. Baumia indicated government meant well and would continue with its year of roads to bring relief to the people of Ghana. 22 kilometers of roads, according to government, have been completed as part of the Sino Hydro project. According to the vice president, the roads that were selected in Cape Coast were in poor conditions when they were chosen, while many of them were unmotorable during the rainy season. Dr. Baumia says government could not have chosen a better investment in the lives of the people than thus. He called on critics of government to read and seek understanding of government activities before they criticize. Today marks yet another day of the commissioning of yet another Sino Hydro project, Feely Feely. Unfortunately for some of our opponents, when we say something and they don't understand, instead of asking for an explanation and also reading about it, they don't like to read, they don't want to ask for explanation, they just say, you are lying. But today, as we commission the Omoye, they are silent. They are no longer saying it's not possible. A total of 441 kilometers of roads and two interchanges are to be constructed. The objectives of the projects are to enhance intra-urban, regional, and national traffic flow trade and strengthening regional economic integration. I was privileged to perform the sword cutting for this important project on 21st November 2019. The commencement of the project was on 20th December 2019 for completion in 30 months. The project was duly completed on schedule. Nananum, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, the completion of the project has improved accessibility within the beneficiary communities in Cape Coast. Minister for Roads and Highways, Kwesia Mwakwata indicated that part of the budget of the urban roads would be set aside to maintain the investment of roads government had done. He says the Ministry of Roads and Highways strategy is to increase the percentage of roads in good condition by undertaking various periodic maintenance activities. The Department of Urban Roads shall make adequate provisions in its annual budgets from now onwards for the maintenance of these roads yet to be commissioned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is necessary to protect the government's massive investment in this sector and in these roads in particular. I therefore urge the municipal assembly to support us in enforcing bylaws aimed at protecting such a valuable public asset. Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Lu Kun, justified why China would choose Ghana any day to invest in. Some motorists spoke to Joy News. For years, China has been actively supporting and constantly provided assistance to Ghana in many ways. Through, Ghana, through China's aid, financing, investment, and the contracting of projects. We have been building strong ties between the two nations. The China-aided Jamestown Fishing Port Project, phase two of the University of Health and Allied Sciences in whole project. The annex building of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the regional integration are well underway. 
All these projects are Chinese government-aided projects. All these projects are aimed to promote Ghana's economic and the well-being of Ghanaian people. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejenya Akon, Cape Coast.